state where several riverine communities have been impacted by flash floods and the state government has started to assess the damage in this region. Uh, the Commissioner for Environment stated that this assessment is important for providing timely support and sufficient relief to those affected. Joseph Kunde tells us more. The state government has been preparing for flooding, but some communities are still facing challenges. This has prompted Commissioner of Environment Ben Ululu and other officials to visit these areas to evaluate the situation. In parts of Yanagoa, some neighborhoods are now hard to reach because of floodwaters caused by garbage blocking drains. The situation is worse in Biseni, where some homes and roads have been deserted due to the overflow from the Orachi River. Some persons uh, parking out of their homes. Uh, to look for uh, higher grounds where they can put up makeshift accommodation to stay. So that comes with uh, uh, its own challenges. They will need uh, insecticide treated uh, tents. They will need some level of support to continue living there, pending when the water recedes so that they can go back to their homes and live their normal life. One fish farmer has had to drain his ponds as the water level rise. We have no alternative than to avert our fishes if not to run at a loss. That is what the flood has done us. It has ravaged our communities. The state government is working on plans to help those affected by the flooding. Uh, issues of um, flood, are of course, uh, natural disasters. Um, we are all aware that the Lagdo Dam was also released from Cameroon and of course Part of the flood you're seeing from these rivers as a result of those waters that have been released. We are hopeful that this report will not only get to His Excellency the Governor, but will also, by extension, get to Mr. President, so that the needful can be done in terms of ecology funds. If those funds from the federal government are used judiciously, which, if they come and do it, uh, I believe strongly that the people of Biseni will not um, suffer this hardship that happens. Going from here, we are going to carry out a sensation campaign, which we have been doing already. We've been on air, uh, trying to stand people of the need why they should keep the environment clean, take responsibility of the environment, and ensure waste are dumped as government approved receptacles. While many residents fear the waters will rise further, they hope it will not be as catastrophic as the floods in 2022. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Biseni.